Hey y'all, what is up YouTube, YouTube? Sparky Black and Mark here, and I'm back to do a review and unboxing of a certain Masters of G. Now, in my previous vid, I did mention about the Golf Man, sort of, I said a different year, but the photo the photo and the date were there with the correct year, sorry if I said, huh. But anyways, um, let's get to the very beginning of Golf Man. I already mentioned it, but now I gotta correct it. In May of 1999 was the year this particular one, the DW97 oh, the DW97-1, the very first golf man. This is Tough Solar, Full Auto, and it was a tried graph. <clears throat> and like all the masters that are all before it, they come with their own character icons. Judging from that, a sword wearing turtle. Mm -hmm. Rust resist, everything. You see that, folks? That's what it looks like. And that's what the Masters are all famous for. The character icons. Engraved. Okay. On to the next one. And again, this is to Solar. And you got the Dash, the Dash 9 version released around the same time. And like it said, like it was said before... Oh, very brightness. Oh, well, there it is. A compass wearing turtle. No, not compass. Did I say that? No, a sword angry turtle. Definitely not. I don't know if they ever did a collaborate. G Shark ever did a collaboration with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Maybe they should. Maybe they should. So, yeah, this is the gold version. Hmm, sorry for the brightness here, folks. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whew. So, this is the gold version with gold display, gold buttons. And what appears to be, hold on. Okay, gold buckle, and you got some gold letterings around it. You see that? Going around there, except that part where it says rust resist. No, it is, it is gold. So yeah, screws, buttons, no. Letters, yeah. Buckle, yeah. Buckle gold. Then you got the 9700K-1T. This is like the jelly version, part of the France 1999 8th International Dolphin and Whale Conference, which takes place in France in March of 99, the month before the other ones were released. Same here. This is the, the, the 9700K-2. When you light it up, you got the whales, humpback whales. Then there's the k 7 t Yep, this is a 9700K-9T, but again, gold version, gold lettering, screws, a little on the gold sides, letterings, iCERC, you name it. Here's the red, white, red and white with blue display, positive display, 9700NC-8T, November of 1999. And it looks like a hospital version of some kind, but it's of course the American Cup challenge to the Japanese boats, Nippon challenge. If I said the name right, correct me in that if I butchered it. The Heli Hansen. The Heli Hansen. <laughs> Double H, ladies and gentlemen. Double H. And then you have the ice circ with yellow bands and black letterings. Positive display 9710-9710K-9JR, March of 2000. That's where we got that. Here in 2007, we got this one around the summer, July of 07, part of the Triple Crown of Surfing, North Shore, Hawaii, Golf Man 91TC-2JF, blue, positive display. Mm -hmm. And here is the uh, sadly discontinued version of the Golf Man, but this is part of the G-Sharks uh, 25th anniversary. So yeah. 25th of May of 08 was the celebration, and this is where we, well, this was released in, I believe, in Japan, December, I mean, September of 07, and this is the Golf Man G9125, G9125A-1JF, mm -hmm. gold buttons, gold letterings, and gold letters, that's all, no buttons, and you got a gold buckle on that. Around that same time, around that point, by the summer of 08, we got this one. 
got the Golfmaster GW9100-1JF, tough solar atomic, and like it's famous for their, um, like the ones before it, a satellite dish wearing turtle. That's what they're angry and they're badass for. The indication for the charging of the high, medium, and low, it's right there. Multiband 5 for the radio towers around the world. Very, very, and it's rust resist. They gotta make more of these, you know. But sadly, I already heard that um, Riseman ain't gonna make a comeback. They've been discontinued. That's very sad and bummer for all the collectors out there in the world. And then the next one would be released that particular time period and around the summer of 08 or the spring of 08, which is the, let's see, the, the All As One 2007 Dolphin and Whale Eco Research Network. GW9100K-7JR. Mm-hmm. And again, there's some gold letterings and gold stuff around it, but no gold buckle. Mm -hmm. That's right. And when you light it up, there it is. Or actually, that's on the buckle. A humpback whale swimming backwards or diving backwards. That's on the band. If you don't see that, hold on. It's right there. It doesn't say about the back light. Let me just zoom my zoom for you, ladies and germs. There we go. Right there. Okay. On to the next section. You already saw the review for this watch in the fall of 07, around the summer of the fall of 07. We got this. Then another variation. Uh, this model is the uh, GW9100. GW9100 2DR. Here is another one released in 08. This is part of the Ice Cirque. And mm, nothing on the back lights, but again, like you saw it before, Humpback Whale on the band. And it's the 2008 Dolphin and Whale Eco Research Network, all as one. Great packaging, great design, and everything. Blue everywhere on the letterings. And nothing goldish about it. Here is the jelly inserts for the the like clear blue jelly inserts for the part of the 25th anniversary in March of 2008. And it's the 9100 GW9125D HAF. Along the time G Shock was celebrating its 25th anniversary, along with these other pieces you're looking at. And again, it's the twenty five hundred. It's the twenty fifth anniversary editions, and gold letterings. You only got gold on G Shock. Normal writing, little blue black letterings for Tough Solar and Rust Resist, but gold screws you have gold on them and gold buckle. That's it. And you got some gold to the lettering, which is the multi band six and Golf Man. That's all you're getting. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Here's a Tough Solar, uh, released in May 26, 2009. I mean, 2010. May 26, 2010. GW9110-1 Golfman Solar Atomic. With the Tough Solar and everything. Rust Resist, Tough Solar. Mm -hmm. You're looking at it, folks. And it's got their cool trademark of a double buckle. Then you got the GW9110ER-2. Mm -hmm. Very cool, unique design. And let's get to the big one, y'all. The nickname, Golf Master. What does it look like? Let's see it. All right, now you're in the new generations of the Golf Master. Now, what you're looking at here are variance ones. One are the solar atomics, and the other ones are the straight battery power versions. Now, going, they do, there were no 25th anniversary, 30th anniversary editions of the Golf Man in, in 2013, celebrating the um, 30th anniversary of G-Shock. 
I don't know what happened. Whereas the Gulf men went extinct, discontinued, no more. Until 2015 in the summer, July 1st, we got this one. And this one is the GWN1000B-1B, black and blue version. Golf man, I mean, golf master. It's quad sensors. And here's a blue variation in silver with a GWN1000-2A. GWN1009-A. And then you have this blacked out version of GWN1000B-1A. Yep. And then you got this one as well. GW1000, oh yeah, I already said that one. Oh yeah, this is like the darker version. Or is it the Dark Lord? I can't even tell the name. They never gave nicknames for these particular ones. So it's a GWN1000B-1A. Hmm. I think I already said that. Huh. Unless it's the Japanese domestic market version. Uh -huh. This is oh, this is the Japanese version. What the heck do I have two here? They're, these aren't carbon fibers. I can't even tell. And then we go for the straight battery power versions. And again, August of 2015. These particular ones were released in the summer of 2014. Uh, hold on. Yep, by August, we got this. These are straight battery power quad sensors. I believe they are. Huh. And this one is the GW, GN, this is just the GN1000B-1A. Uh, the GN1000-9, this is the yellow and blue, black and blue. Huh. All yellowed out, but the, the face is a little bit black and blue. Here's the United States version, the GN1000-1A white and blue GN1000C-8A and black and gold GN1000GB-1A and here is a quad oh this is the quad sensor okay so these were released in July okay okay these particular ones but this one was released in July 19 2016 Quad sensor version, straight battery powered, GWN Q1000 dash GWN Q1000 dash 1A Golf Master quad sensor. And these are not uh, solar atomics, doesn't say multi band, whichever. And then here is the uh, black and gold version of the GWN1000 GB model and this is indeed black and gold you got gold everywhere black and gold ladies and germs and okay with all that out of the way let's get to the watch and you're going to be for a real treat y'all and it's going to be part of the love the sea and the earth now what is the love and the sea and the earth let's check it out like right now all right so where is the item questioning oh it's right here. Mm -hmm. Casio. G-Shock Ice Cirque. I-C-E-R-C. Ice Cirque. Okay. Take it out gently. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, here it is. Okay, Ice Cirque. Love the Sea and the Earth. 2017, all as one. Ice Cirque. Mm -hmm. G Shock Golf Master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing special on the bottom. And also, here's the manual. Let me just take it out, take a quick glimpse, and then onto the watch. Module number 5477JA. Hmm, written in Japanese. And oh, here it is. Can't be a sticker, can it? Okay. 
Okay. I circ. Associations with G Shock and Baby G. Oh, since 94. This is all written in Japanese lettering, as I can't even read that much. Hmm, probably the same thing written in backwards in Japanese, so yeah. No chit chat, y'all. On to the watch. the watch itself. Ooh, what's behind this here wraps, y'all? What is it? All right. Here we go. And this year is the GW, the GWN Q 1000 K-7 AJR. Module number 5477. Or the ice circle, and these are details about the ice circle and the solar atomic systems. So, here you go. Dan says the same thing. Love the sea and the earth. Nothing special about it. <clears throat> Take a look at that, y'all. Love the sea and the earth, 2017. Look at that carefully. Total solar movement, you know, sapphire crystal. Pause that carefully, everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I circle as one. <laughs> this is a pretty big piece. Mm -hmm. There's the humpback whale, little red button, silver buttons, sensor. Take a look at the buckle very quick. Cassio Thailand, but that's where they usually get their parts from. Humpback whale on the, on the clasp. The keeper. Sorry if I said clasp. On the keeper. Humpback whale on the keeper. A little reddish. I'm going to assume that's the sensor. Okay, let's see a little something. Barometer is approximately 121. Compass. Now let's see how you do this. Last one on lease, altimeter. Okay, negative 67 or 68 point 68 meters. Temp is at approximately 24.6 Celsius. So this is indeed a definitely and in depth, this is gonna like take you to the bottom. Right now it's not saying anything. Okay, let's go to our home time. Oh, well, that's not the right date. I gotta fix that. Okay, nothing here. World time, UTC. Tide. Mm. As of recently, it will happen tomorrow at about 6 a.m. Oh, gotta fix that one. It's not the right date. Jeez. Okay, you got your stopwatch and the favorite, the timer. Hmm. Yeah, there's something off with that. It's not the right timer. I'll show you that in a later video. I be believe this is only going to be for like about 10 seconds. I can't even change it. Alarms, you got your two, three, four, five signal and s no snooze. That's all there is. RC received atomic clock as of October 30th of 1202. Uh, last year, I would say, or is it going to be this year? 
I'm in bed to your world time. Oh, so I've what depth. Shit. Oh. Okay. Everything was recalling me, everything. I go back to where I was. Okay. So far, how do you like this timepiece in particular? Very cool, right? And also, what came with this watch is a humpback whale pillow. Very, very cool. For the iCERC models. Mm -hmm. Also, very careful if you want to see it closely. If you're enjoying this video so far, subscribe to the channel to be notified of all new uploads and updates. So yeah, amazing piece, quad sensor models. And with that, I'll send you, I'll give you the link in the description box for other quad sensor models, including from my pal Jess Chef, G-Shark High Fashion, shout to you, my man. And other collectors who have this, or some. So yeah. With all that information out of the way, let's play a little music of 2017. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's play a little music to represent 2017 with Running Miles by, Sab by Hippie Sabotage. <clears throat> so let's play it.
Wow. Great song from that year, man. So, y'all, what do you think of this piece? Is it, is it worth collecting? Worth hunting down? Good timepiece. Never come across like this one. But you can get variations, like I said, of this design or variation designs of the look of the of the golf master. So yeah. Coming after like say 18 years. Yeah, 18 years. Wow, since to, uh, yeah, from 1999 to 2000. Wow, how long has it been with that? With different variations of the golf master, of course. But it's 15 years and make it like say two years after golf man went its own way and now we got the golf master but in big form and stuff hmm. Harley doesn't say rust resist kind of bummer though but all in all it's a great one and it's quad sensor meaning it's four times better mm -hmm. so anyways um if any of you guys want to know more Click the bell on the subscribe tab to be notified of all new uploads. Okay, let's give a shout out to the collectors out there from the watch collectors, physical media collectors, toy collectors, and did I say video? Yeah, video game collectors, as well as autograph collectors, toy collectors. Shout to all you collectors out there, to my subscribers and the fellow, and to the, um, the people that I'm subscribed to. Shouts to you all, dudes and dudettes. So, yeah. Woo -hoo. Man, oh my God. let's go ahead quickly. So, anyways, this is Sparky Marky Mark signing off, y'all. Take care. God bless you. Catch you on the next vid. Enjoy Tuesday, y'all.